mathematics is very important. Mathematics uh, are at the heart of uh, science, technology and innovation. Mathematics could uh, impact uh, some crucial sectors of activities like agriculture, water, energy and so on. So mathematics are really important. It's important to develop mathematics across the world, in particular because there's a lot of undeveloped talent. You know, there are large numbers of people around the world who have mathematical talent, but not the resources uh, to develop them. Mathematics is a communal effort. So if you don't have access to other people to talk to about what you do, you know, it's really hard to make progress. More than the people, it's also the impact. Mathematics is a cheap science. So if you want to develop the world, it's a low cost way of really having large advance for little investment. The Commission for Developing Countries was created in 2011. The IMU is most famous for the Fields Medals, but you know, there, there was this recognition of the importance of what it could do for the developing world. And this organization you know, manages different programs, programs for volunteers, programs for students, programs for conferences, ways in which we can kind of help mathematics grow in regions where you know, it needs a little help. The projects which it does to support mathematics are many lecturers can go to developing countries and give intensive courses. Another program involves support for conferences. Then we also have fellowships which enable individuals to go to other countries and undertake research for a few months. We also have the support for libraries where they ship materials uh, to libraries in developing countries. A case study for uh, a difference is Cambodia. So after the Khmer Rouge, uh, there were no uh, educated people in the country. So there was a, a real need to bring in somebody who could teach graduate level courses. So the volunteer lecturer program uh, is a worldwide effort that, you know, uh, in particular in Cambodia, but all over the world, you know, sent volunteers to teach courses to help the Cambodians have a master's program. Sustained effort from the worldwide mathematical community took a country with one PhD to 15. Uh, and, you know, that's a place where you can see a huge difference. CDC helps generally in, in the development of mathematics and mathematical education in all levels. Six years ago, the Philippine government, it has uh, added two more years to the uh, K-12 to program, basic program of the country. Of course, we need to train the teachers before they could handle these courses. So that's where uh, CDC uh, supported this project and uh, we were able to support some teachers. They were very happy that they were able to, to join the training, teacher training program. Make sure that you go to the CDC website and for example, if you're uh, planning a conference, some seed money from the IMU can give you credibility to get more resources somewhere else. If you want to fund a student, you know, you can look at applying for our grade program. Uh, or if you want to bring a mathematician from the more developed world to teach at your university, you can apply to be a host for this volunteer lecturer program. The CDC is really uh, amazing uh, to me because everybody's a volunteer. It's an example of how people from all over the world, different cultures, different languages, try to identify you know, ways in which, you know, with very modest resources, we can have the biggest impact on places that need it. ICM TV is brought to you from the 2018 International Congress of Mathematicians in Brazil. So for more like this, click on some of these great videos and don't forget to subscribe for more from the best in science, from everything from mathematics to physics, geophysics and engineering.